The idea of white wedding dress has been born only 200 years ago. Uh, there was no such an idea as wedding dress in the history of fashion. Every um, nice ball gown was considered to be a wedding dress. And ladies, when they had money and chance to get an expensive dress, let's say in the 16th or 17th or 18th century, they would prefer a dress that could be used multiple times. So it will not be especially, of course, white in color. It could be green, gold, blue, whatsoever, pink even. But when the Napoleon came to power in the early 19th century, his sister, who Caroline, who married Prince Murat, became Princess Murat, was the very first lady ever wear white dress for wedding. And since all the fashion of the Empire Line, which is presented in my exhibition here in Arsenal, at the end of this uh, hall, they were all white. It became fashionable to wear white for wedding. And this fashion lasts for 200 years. And right now, we all consider white as the color of wedding dresses. And uh, in our days, ladies uh, are getting a wedding dress or ordering a getting a wedding dress uh, for a single occasion but they don't have any idea for a multiple use uh, for example if you see how wedding was made in India or in China or in ancient Egypt it was mainly considered of a crown. The crown is the main accessory. Right now, uh, ladies are using white flowers or some kind of flower decoration around there. Face for wedding, which is the custom and more often done. Uh, though in the past, uh, there were gold leaves and, and diamonds and different sort of decoration but one thing which is common to many religion is a veil when you cover yourself uh, with a veil and it's a very antique Jewish tradition that persists in Catholic world as well well uh, very first fashion show was ever done by, by Paul Poiret, the famous French designer of the early 20th century, in the garden of his house in Paris. Uh, since that, uh, each designer wants to provide the public with a fashion show, but wedding dresses are very seldom a case of a fashion show. Each fashion show in the world finishes with one wedding dress. No, Baltic bridal fashion, there is no phenomenon at all uh, because uh, there is not one famous bride in the world that been dressed uh, for a wedding by a great Baltic designer, as far as I know. And second, but of course, Baltic style and fashion does exist. It's, it, it is um, a very straightforward fashion that all very often use very few colors. In Baltics, there is no taste for multicolored dresses, but it's because of the nature of your countries. People like so much native colors of stone, wood, water, sand, that they are very often using those colors, I would say. Yes, which is not bad. It, 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 it could be very elegant. I would say Baltic designers are very elegant designers. What they're doing is, uh, is super, it's super. 
though it doesn't please to everyone, but fashion could not please to everyone as well. What Chinese are doing doesn't please to Spanish, and Cuban fashion doesn't become to, let's say, Turkish. You see? Uh, follow the, the example of Jozef Stadkiewicz's. Go all over the world, show your things and try to, uh, first of all, get an Instagram. It's the first thing now. Publicize in every single day your new design, some great photos, some great shoots and some great news about the fashion house and get lots of subscribers. I have an Instagram, but I would say uh, internet is the main source of popularity for um, Baltic designers nowadays. They should publicize them and do it in two languages, in native and in English. Otherwise it never will work, because many designers write just news in Lithuania and nobody can read it. I wouldn't say that there is a key focus there. In our days, fashion is um, focused on uh, the 90s, uh, 1990s. The main style of today is called neo grunge. So everything is oversized, everything is uh, very big. There are lots of uh, uh, Scottish fabrics like tartan, black and red, uh, lots of reds nowadays, like red glasses, all this is fashion, I'm, I'm sorry to say. So, um, so fashion is, uh, is not much for bridal dresses, but bridal, bridal dresses, um, I would say, are oriented uh, towards East. And I would say that Muslim fashion influence bridal fashion more than before. Uh, because lots of Muslims uh, moved to Europe and Germany, France, Italy and England is full of Muslims as well as Belgium and they dictate their rules and for them wedding is very important. It's the reunion of the whole family, 200 people are coming, they're singing, dancing and they're changing many dresses. Sometimes Oriental bride would change three times a dress in one day. For them, it's a great custom, and everything should be closed in their mind. So I would say this direction is the direction that we are taking now. Difficult to say, but uh, as a movie character, uh, some very pretty bridal style you can find in a film How to Marry a Millionaire, starring Marilyn Monroe.